Hello, and welcome to the quick walkthrough to our QBank dashboard interface to help you take full advantage of our website. Once you logged in, on the welcome page, you will be able to know quick information about all of your QBanks, which may include paid, free demo or expired subscriptions. You can easily renew your expired subscription plan from here. To practice with free demo QBank, simply click at Create Test button. This is the page you will be visiting every time while creating your new test. Here you can see few active subtopics having free questions. Otherwise rest of the subtopics will remain inactive until you buy premium version. For free demo, you can always create test having up to 20 questions using only free questions. Once you buy premium version, all available topics and subtopics will become active and you can create a test having up to 500 questions, depending upon availability. In the filter options, you can set question mode. By default, it is set to all. If you wish to create test having new or unattempted questions, then choose a use option. Click at the question mark to find out more related details. You can set difficulty level from here. Topics part contains the list of your available topics. Clicking on any of it will show related subtopics and available questions for each. If you wish to use this subtopics question into your new test then you can simply click here. And if you would like to use all these subtopics questions then you can simply click at the topic level, doing so will automatically select all subtopics. In advanced options for test mode, you can see the default selection right now. Click at the question mark to find out more related details. To define number of questions for this test, type a number, up to 500, in this field and click create test button. If above selection do not contain required number of questions then it will show you alert message, otherwise it will redirect you to test app. On test app, at the top in desktop view, you can see some standard buttons having different features. Like, save any note on this question for future reference. Flag this question if you have doubt in your selected answer choice or find it difficult. Mark this question as favorite for high yield questions. Both flagged and favorite questions pools are maintained separately and can be practiced in your QBank. If you wish to go to your dashboard during test then click at dashboard button. This will prompt you to pause this test. Clicking OK will redirect you to the QBank dashboard. Similarly, there are other buttons representing different features. Navigate through QBank questions simply from next and previous buttons, or directly through here, or from this list. This navigation list shows status of each question. All attempted questions are shown without gray dot in the list. Whereas submitted questions will also have result status, like correct or incorrect. Additionally note, flag or mark favorite icons can also be seen for each question. You can pause this test from here and resume it later. If you wish to pause this test for longer period or close this app, then you can always resume it from the same position from all tests page. Ending your test will end your test and will redirect you to this tests analysis page. You can review any particular question or the whole test here. In test application again. If time test, then timer shows available time to complete this test. Clicking at submit button for any question will submit it finally and you will no longer be able to edit your answer choice during the test for this question. Otherwise, navigating test app with other option will always enable you to edit your answer choices during the test. Once submitted, you can see correct answer and explanation tabs. If tutor mode selected while creating test then you will always be able to see questions explanation here. Otherwise correct answer and explanation can always be seen in tests review mode which is available after ending the test. If question contains one or more images then you can zoom or use different available options. In case of any error or correction, you can always report issue from here. On your mobile. Test application view will be like this. Now, coming back to your QBank dashboard, you have all tests option. 
On this page, you can filter through your QBanks, if subscribed for more than one. This list will show all created tests archive consisting upon your all attempted tests history which may include completed or in progress tests. View in-depth analysis report or you can also resume an incomplete test here. Reports page contains comprehensive information regarding your performance during tests. This report is divided into sections like overall, topic-wise and subtopic-wise which will give you more details about your areas of weaknesses and strength. That's it. We hope that this walkthrough must have helped you to understand our QBank dashboard. Keep exploring our website www.interface.edu.pk